I don't know if you've noticed this, but nowadays it seems like everything is so fluid. You don't even know what reality is anymore. They told you, wear fitted clothing always. And then there comes Kanye breaking the norm and now oversized clothing is trending. They said, wear your trousers perfectly fitted with a quarter break or no break at all. And then the major fashion houses come with oversized high crop trousers. And by they, I mean me. But hey, that's the thing with style. If you haven't noticed already, style is always evolving and it's always changing. What you wore back in 2000, you wouldn't wear in 2010. What was trending in 2010 isn't as relevant as it is today in 2017. But that always gets me thinking, are there basics that you can always rely on? Doesn't matter what trend's going on, what's popping at the time, is there something you can always follow? There sure is, and that's why I made today's video. Today's video, we're gonna cover five must follow style rules that every guy should follow, no matter what trend or aesthetic you're going for. Number one, don't be afraid to stand apart. At the end of the day, if you actually care about how you look and put effort in your appearance and what you put on every single day, undoubtedly, sooner or later, you're gonna be the best dressed guy in the room, whether that be your classroom or in your workplace. And guess what? Sooner or later, when that happens, you're gonna get people saying, oh, you're too overdressed, or oh, you're trying too hard. But at the end of the day, that's just jealousy because they didn't have the courage to actually care and put effort in their own appearance. When your daily attire is this, anything will seem overdressed. So never be afraid to be a leader and care about how you look. Number two is how you button a suit. See, it doesn't matter if even 70s style shoulder padded oversized suits came back into play. How you button a suit will always stay relevant and something you must follow. When you have a three button suit, you always follow the sometimes, always, and never. Meaning the top button, sometimes. The middle button, always needs to be buttoned when you're standing up, and then the bottom button, you never, ever want to button this button. And this is the one you see almost every guy button. Just because it's there, doesn't mean you have to use it. Number three is wearing undershirts. Now there has been a great debate amongst men's style community, whether you guys should or should not wear undershirts if it makes you look more stylish or unstylish. At the end of the day, again, it all depends on you. If you're a guy that sweats a lot, you need to wear an undershirt, hands down. If you're a guy that does it, then you don't. Personally, I sweat a lot, especially in the summer. So, undershirts for me, they're a must. The importance, however, is that you wear them correctly. This is what will or will not mess up your style. The perfect ones and the ones that I always wear are from our sponsor, Sloan. The great thing or your goal when it comes to undershirts is for it to look like you are not wearing an undershirt. The only reason you are wearing it is to protect your exterior clothes so it doesn't get ruined. What Sloan does that I freaking love is that they have undershirts for every skin tone color. If you go to their site, I'm going to have it linked below. Click it and check it out. They have different shades of undershirt colors for different skin tone colors. This is perfect because when you wear, for example, a white undershirt, which I do not recommend you do, especially under a white dress shirt, you will always see the imprint of that undershirt under your dress shirt, which completely ruins that crisp, clean look you want to put together when you do wear that white dapper dress shirt. However, wearing an undershirt that's close to your skin tone color removes that contrast between your undershirt and your skin tone color, and you can throw on even a light white tee, and you can't even tell you're wearing a shirt underneath. That's exactly what you want to do when you're wearing undershirt. If you guys want to check out Sloan, our sponsor, I'm going to have them linked below. I'm also going to have a solid discount code for you guys. It's pretty big, just so you guys can check them out. Like I said, go ahead, check their site, try to find the one that's as close to your skin tone color as possible and buy it at a discounted price. Like I said, try one. I'm telling you, you're going to love it and I'm sure you're going to be wearing that all the time from now on. The fourth style rule is all about brand and aesthetic synergy. And this is all about when to wear certain brands together and certain pieces together. Being able to feel out what's stylish, what works and what doesn't. Again, that word synergy, things that work together to create a better outcome. So for example, a couple of personal style rules that I have is, you don't wanna mix too many competing brands together. It just clashes too much, it looks a bit off. Like I've said before, opinion is style based, so to you it might not, but a good example is wearing an Adidas tracksuit and Nike trainers. Again, the brand synergy just does not work, it clashes too much, and it'll look off. Easily swapping out those Nike for a non-competing brand like Vans or even Adidas themselves, you have a more stylish outfit. So when it comes to brand and aesthetic synergy, it's all about being aware. It's about awareness. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, does this work? If it clashes, probably switch it out. And finally, number five, something I will preach till the day I die, skipping on your basics. I know all too well young guys that would rather spend all of their money on all the trends that are popping right now and not invest in any basics whatsoever. 
And without too much explaining, you can see where this leads. When those trends die out, you just wasted all that money and you don't have basics you can rely on. This is exactly why we're starting our own essentials collection to fill that void and create a line of quality, well-fitting clothing that are essential pieces that should be in every man's closet. But the point is, once you have those basics, like I always say, once you nail those down, then you can expand your wardrobe because you have something to rely on. It's kind of like you're hedging your closet against risk. When the trends die out, you still look stylish. All right, boys, so that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Sloan. I'm going to have them linked down below. That's it for me today. See you next time.